So Ryan Day's been running a lot of pass-pass option or pass screen option, whatever you want to call it this year. Hasn't really been a part of his pass and what he's done on offense. Um, they've done it enough this year that I thought I would talk about it. Um, and it's a probably a big part of their offense moving forward for Notre Dame week. So when we talk about pass screen options, okay, usually you have a screen concept to one side of the field, and then you've got a quick game concept to the other. Now, Ohio State likes to run double slant on most of their pass screen options, but they will change it up a, a little bit. So in this first clip, and I've got three clips that I thought I would go through, and we'll talk about kind of the reads and where McCord's eyes um, will be pre and post snap. So in this first clip here, we're in two by two, we're in 11 personnel. So we're running a swing screen to the back and then backside we have double slants. So when we do, when we talk about running a swing screen to the back and we're talking about a pass screen option, you're going to be reading a defender to give you a key read on where the ball should go. So usually when we run swing screens, okay, our read's going to be the Mike linebacker. Okay, is he going to add? Is he going to add on as a pressure? Okay, is he going to run him with the back and man coverage? Okay, that's going to be our key read and where our eyes should be. And you're, you're going to be able to see that from the back end view with McCord. His eyes go directly to the mic. Now, in this example, the mic does add on as a pressure, so the ball gets out pretty quickly. But I thought I would just show pre-snap who the read's going to be. So if, if the mic was, were to expand with the back, McCord's eyes would then go backside to the double slants. And this is kind of your zone answer, and this is kind of your man answer. So if they're a man, this back or this linebacker should run with the back, and then our eyes would get back to the double slant going inside out. And you'll see here that um, I need to play it here. Sorry. So you'll see here that the mic adds on at, with the pressure. Okay, our ball gets out to to Henderson, and then we've got a two on two on here. If we do our job um, out here, we should have t a ton of space to work with. Okay. Luckily, Henderson's a good back. is able to make somebody miss, and we've got plenty of room to work with here. And again, backside. Okay, we backside. You've got double slants. Okay, we do have quite a bit of space out there to work with if our eyes come back there. Um, so that's just the first example there. This is on the first drive actually too. So I've got three clips for you. And then you'll see with the back end view where I mean you can see pre snap where uh, McCord's eyes are. Right there with 10 with the mic, sees that he adds on, boom, balls out to, to Henderson. First example there. Okay, so second example, a little bit different. So Ohio State's an empty here. So they're in uh, trips to the boundary, then we've got twins to the field. So they've got a quick screen or a smoke screen, whatever you want to call it, to the Z. And then down here to the field, we have a slant and flat concept, so a dragging concept to work with. So... Pre-snap, this, this is typically a numbers count. So if I have a two-on-three advantage, the ball is getting out of the Z, we should have enough space to work with that I should be able to, to gain at least five to ten yards. Okay, that's really that's really a run concept there. Now to the field, we have Dragon. So we're get, we'd be reading the outside linebacker, seeing if he's going to expand with a slant. Okay, right now you can, you can tell pre-snap he's almost attached to the box, so we're going to have quite a bit of space to work with to the flat concept, given that the corner bails. But again, you've got um, a two on three advantage. Okay. I think McCord thinks the safety's more attached to the box. I'm sorry. He's more attached to trips. So he comes to the slant uh, flat side. And you'll see after I play it there. Okay. And you'll see from the back end view, he does take a look to see to trips if he has the numbers advantage. Didn't like the numbers advantage. So he goes to the slant and flat over here. Okay. Outside linebacker doesn't expand enough. Corner bails, and we have a ton of space to work with with a flat concept. So, again, pass screen option out of a different look. Okay, I, Really, you're getting your, your athletic guys in space. You're giving your quarterback a pretty easy read. It's a win for all parties involved, especially for an inexperienced quarterback like Kyle. So, back in view, you'll tell right there, pre-snap, he's – He's checking to see if he has a numbers advantage, probably checking the safety to see if he's going to play the box, if he's going to play trips. Okay, and then post-snap, he's going slant, uh, slant flat. And Kyle's been really good at these pass screen options. They've got a, a lot of return on investment when it comes to the pass screen options as, as well. So now we're in the red zone. Okay, we're back to two by two, kind of the same look we had earlier. Uh, we're in a swing screen with the back to the field. And again, that's 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 kind of a matchup based thought as well. Henderson's really good in space. I think that's where I think that's where he's best. If we can get him the ball out in space, I think he's more of a scat back as well. I think he's a mismatch for linebackers. So if if we, if a, if a linebacker is going to slow play the back, we still have enough room. The ball should get out to Travion, and then we should do our job out here, and he should have enough space. 
But you'll see in this example that the safety who's walked down because they're in zero high here also runs with the back. So their Mike linebacker and their safety is going to run with the back. So that's a two for one there. And you'll see McCord does end up coming backside to the double slant because it looks like we're going to get cover zero here. So you'll see that the Mike and the safety run with the back. So McCord's eyes come backside to the double slant. And again, we're reading inside out. Okay, the first inside guy is open there. That's a pass and a catch for six. So again, really easy concept. You're reading one defender. Okay, it gives you the clue of where the ball should go. And you're giving it to the best receiving room in the country. So thought I would talk about it because Ryan Day really hasn't run it in the past. And here's the back end view. And he's really tailoring the offense to what McCord's really good at. I, I think Ohio State fans would agree that he struggled um, under center and 12P formations where they're trying to run two-man concept where they're, where they're max protecting up front. And Kyle's struggling, I think, with his feet and his timing. He's much better in the gun. And I think this is kind of where the offense is heading. And you saw in Western Kentucky, they were in a lot of gun. Rarely were they going under. Should be a good matchup this week.